In this adventure, we are going to be driving one of the most spectacular coastal drives in the world. On our journey, we will explore the Republic of Hout Bay, traveling from Komiki on the Chapman's Peak Drive all the way to Hout Bay, where we will view the bay and the mountain drive from the ocean side. going to be a lot of cyclists which makes me nervous because it's like they don't care and uh, it's you'll see now that it is an absolutely spectacular drive which kind of explains why they want to drive it but as you can see I need to literally go to the other side of the road to miss them come and travel with us we're going to Hart Bay and then we're gonna end off in Camps Bay and who knows what all we can share with you on the way there Elias are you ready are you ready? Let's do it. Let's go. Chapman's Peak Drive is one of the most spectacular coastal drives in the world, running from Komiki to Hout Bay, and the twisting 9km drive has 114 curves and gives you the most amazing views of the Atlantic coastline. Speak Drive was opened in 1922 after they chiseled it out of the rock since 1915. But in 1990s there was a rock fall causing the death of one person and it was closed and after re-engineering the place it was reopened in 2005. skirts the mountain coastline of Chapman's Peak, which is a southerly extension of Constantia Bar. There are many areas along the route where you can stop and take in the exquisite scenery or just sit down and have a relaxing picnic. Right here next to us, with the sun shining over it, peeking over it, um, is Chapman's Peak. Now it was named after a guy called John Chapman. He was a pilot of a, a ship here in Hout Bay and he was sent to reconnaissance the area and thus he got to name the mountain and then also the drive Chapman's Peak.
The pass was closed in the 1990s and it was opened again in 2005, but then closed again in 2008 because of concerns. But currently, luckily, it is open and on a day like today, you can see everybody is just enjoying a wonderful drive, whether you are a cyclist or a motorbiker or just a tourist like us. <laughs> I gotta say, this is a spectacular view. What do you think, Elias? Mm, yeah, it's amazing. I definitely don't want to fall here. Chapman's Peak Drive was the brainchild of Sir Frederick de Vaux, the first administrator of the Cape Province. Fondly known as Chappies to the Cape Town residents, the Chapman's Peak Drive also forms part of the annual route for the Cape Argus Cycle Tour and the Two Oceans Marathon. At the bottom of the drive, you might spot the bronze leopard statue of Harpe. This iconic leopard was sculptured by Ivan Mitford Barberton, who, after creating it, donated to the Harpe community. It was completed in 1963, weighing in at 295 kilograms. This statue was placed on the rock pedestal on the 14th of March of that year. Bronze Leopard Sculpture is a memorial dedicated to all the wild animals that once called this area home. Join us next time for part two of this exciting adventure. <laughs>